everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Judy and you are watching Running So and So and it's lovely to have you back here with me. And if you've recently joined my little happy band of followers, thank you very much and welcome aboard. If you've recently liked and commented, thank you very much. I think I have one comment as I record this video to reply to. I'm priding myself on replying to every single one of you that take the time to reply, respond to me. Let's start by saying a huge thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. I'll put the links in the description box below for starting this most wonderful of hashtags. Now there is no Friday Sews question this week, so I am going to pose you a question. I would like you to tell me your favourite blouse pattern. I have two favourite blouse patterns. Now, the first one I did mention back in Sew Blouse April 23, which was the wonderful challenge that was run by the Cloth Edit over in Australia and by our lovely Ruan, the Yorkshire Sew Girl. And my favourite ultimate blouse pattern is a very old Vogue, 8620. And I'm doing the red one and I have started to cut it out. There are the line drawings on the back, just peering to the side to make certain you can see them, and you can. I've stopped making it. I haven't cut it out completely because I'm shrinking. I'm not going to labour the point about shrinking. And my other favourite blouse pattern is the Atelier Jupe Frida blouse, and that is the project that I have been working on this week. So, while Jen is busy doing her sewing this week and hasn't come up with a question, which is absolutely lovely and it gives us a chance to pose a question. Mine is, what is your favourite blouse pattern? So come on, you must have a favourite blouse pattern, your go-to blouse pattern. And it's really hard to know what your favourite go-to blouse pattern is. But I know that mine at the moment is the Frida because when I saw this gorgeous new fabric from Atelier Brunette and I'm trying not to spend money on fabric, I thought, I can make a Frida blouse because it only takes 1.2 metres. So brilliantly, when you order from a Telly Brunette, you can get it in exactly the dimensions that you want. So what have I been doing? I have had quite a lovely two weeks since I last did a Friday Sews and I have done Friday Sews day to day again. Here they are, Poppy and Maggie at the they look really stunning actually at this time of the year when they've got the lovely sort of autumn colours behind them and it's wet so they start to glisten a little bit. They are Brittany Spaniels. The Kennel Club calls them the Brittany. A lot of people still look at them as the Brittany Spaniel because they look like a Spaniel um, but they're, they're sort of, they do more than a Spaniel. They don't just flush, they point and retrieve but they make an excellent pet dog. There is another one over there. Can you see it? And it's sort of said before, how do you photograph and film a black dog? It's virtually impossible. It has its own mind as the black dog. And I think when it rains, it brings up every single Back from the walk, um, dinner eaten, a chat with two friends, uh, one asking about wedding dress alterations and uh, this particular wedding dress, I've said, no, thank you. But um, it's not a firm decision, so the daughter might change her mind. Uh, it's just so lovely when your friends that you've known for years come to you and say, we know you can help Judy, but can you just please give us some advice? And you know something, life's too short to say no to things because friendships are there forever, aren't they? So, I have cut out yesterday evening the Atelier Jupe Frida blouse in my absolutely gorgeous Atelier Brunette uh, New Viscose, which is the water lily design on a blush background. And that's very naughty, very naughty indeed. Oh, keep, keep getting this, my Lisa Taylor little uh, label keeps popping up. So I went to my, oh, went to my cotton stash. Oh, all neatly organised. This is all my Atelier Brunette um, threads. And I know it's Atelier Brunette because I put one of their stickers on the top. But um, I love the way they have all the threads that match. And I had got some blush. So that's gone straight in. And I'm just doing the first little bits of the blouse, which is a bit of gathering at the front. I've got the instructions down here and off I so go. The, pl the plan for tonight is home after the dog walk. Quick dinner, which is all prepped, ready to go in the microwave. I made a huge pot of um, pasta bolognese on Monday to see me through the week. It's really helping with my um, food management and my weight control. And I'm using the lovely instant pot that the lovely Lorianne gave me last summer. 
So there's a pasta bolognese in that. A little bit of sewing, tap into the Zoom with Andrea. And, okay, to yoga, yes! It's the evening, it's the second time I'm recording this because the first one I recorded as a WhatsApp message to Melanie. And I don't think she really wanted that. <laughs> oh, the relaxation of yoga. Anyway, these are the front bands to my Frida Blairs. And while I was um, on the Zoom with Andrew and the guys tonight, I folded them over and turned them in. I've got the collar here ready to turn in, to open out and to turn under one of the, the hems. And I just used my little clover hot hemmer. You know, Prim do one, um, what's she called? Generates does one. There's loads of them around. Hot hemmers, really lovely things. I love mine. And over here, I prepped the cuffs ready, um, turned underneath the hem, done the side seam. Probably will not be putting the cuffs on the same way as the Atelier Jupe pattern asks me to. I have prepped the sleeves ready for a French seam. I'm not going to rush making this blouse because I'm really enjoying it. So that's Wednesday done for today. I've got my um, bits of advent calendar that I started on there. And over here, I've got the tree skirt. Now, I'm going to sew two in a week on Sunday. So I thought I might take those up to sew two to do because I'm only going to have my little sewing machine, the little Elma, because the spare Benina is going on loan to my daughter. Don't know what happened to Friday. We spent the day driving down and I am now in Whitby. Going in search of a sewing shop. So this is the famous buttons I love. I've got small market time on a Saturday morning. The market setting up. Look at those pumpkins. Oh my gosh. What is it about markets in other towns? They always seem 1000% better than your own. Look at these, Han. Pumpkin cookies. Oh my gosh, look at those pumpkin gushy cookies. Oh, look at those. So, um, down the high street, we found the Whitney Sewing Centre. And we went to shake it. Now home. I had a lovely dog walk this morning, but I haven't told you it's actually my birthday, so I think it's allowed that I don't have to do the dishwasher or vacuum or do anything like that because it's my birthday. So I haven't done any sewing yet, so I think it's, it's my birthday, I could have a little bit of a sew. So I I've shown you what I've recorded as far as last weekend and I did record some bits this week and I just thought 
they weren't quite what I wanted to show you because I've been double filming this week because I have been making my freedom. I've had one or two requests on how I do certain things in my sewing. Um, sleeves, collars, button bands, no understitching, that kind of thing. So I decided I'd give it a go with the Frida blouse and I have been recording that alongside trying to do day to day. The day to day didn't work while I was doing the Frida blouse. So my Frida blouse is well on the way. I've been taking my time. It's been wonderful to have a slow sew make. And here it is. Here is my slow sew make. I've got the yoke on, I've done the top stitching. I have the sleeves in beautifully and there will be another vlog all being well and providing it is of a good enough quality I will put it out. I've been showing people how I've done the cuffs on these for this Frida blouse. So with the blouse um, I do not like this stitch in the ditch to try and hold a facing down I would much rather do um, a little slip stitch but I know it takes time but also I have problems with my hands and they cramp and I'm thinking, let's try and do the neg the reverse. Let's try and make the hands work so they don't cramp as much. But also I need to get over this silly fear of stitching in the ditch. So what I, I have done on these cuffs of my Frida blouse is overturned them up so that I've got a little bit of fabric to catch on the inside. Now it will mean that the inside is not as neat as the outside. So I have got to cope with that. And that's what I don't like. You know, I know that if I turn it up normally, I'd get a lovely little seam in there which would catch. And normally that seam would be caught into the stitches. I'm just peering around the side. But can you see the stitches? Normally I'd slip stitch into that. But this time I've turned it up a little bit. So I know... I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Stupid watch. I will have a little tiny seam and a little flap of fabric there. But, as I keep saying, I might have sewn since the year dot, but I am still learning. And there are new ways of doing things that I, this is me, this is not anybody else, that I have got to come to terms with. I've got to learn how to do it. And this is one of them that I need to, because as I get older and my hands do not want to sew by hand, I have to be able to do these things. So I'm going to do it, I'm gonna tack it first. So I have done a rolled seam here to pull the seam to the top so I have not understitched on the collar to try and hold it forward. This gives you a really crisp edge and it allows you to get a really good top stitching line down the edge there. I'm sorry I'm peering to the side just to make certain what I'm showing you is in focus and I'm out of focus. So I'm really pleased. I'm thoroughly enjoying making this blouse because there is no deadline for it, except I am going to sew to and on Sunday. And it would be lovely to be able to wear it because I think it will look so much better on me than my last Freed blouse. Well, my Frieda, oh, last Freed blouse will look as good now because I've lost some weight off my arms. She says hitting where the flu jab went in. Whilst we were away, it was wonderful to be able to share some news with the rest of the family and that my daughter is expecting her first baby. So that is just the most brilliant news. I haven't decided what, decided what I'm going to be called yet. Time will tell on that front. Favouring Nana at the moment because I do like a Nana nap. But we went shopping and you will have seen in the clip when Hannah goes, I don't know when I'm going to make this. It's a little embroidery she's got of peonies. It's well, she's on maternity leave and in the evenings when she can't do anything else, that's when she's going to do it. I bought this absolutely gorgeous chunky knit fabric from the Whitney Knitting and Sewing Centre. It's actually, it's called the Whitney Knitting and Sewing Centre, but I think it's the Cotswolds one. And they had a lovely selection of um, patchwork fabrics and everything. It was a bit like Bugweeds in, in the, way, the way it's set out. I'm actually off to Bugweeds this afternoon because I need something for a pattern test that I'm going to be doing. But there you go. I bought this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. So I've actually had... I think for the past two weeks, I'm really happy in what I've achieved sewing wise, because although I haven't done a lot and I've not got garments to show you, in my heart and in my mind, I've sat down and I've prepped all the little advent calendars and pinned everything on. Let me show you. So what I've done is I've prepped the little advent calendars and I've sewn, I've, 
Can you see what I've done here? Oh, there they are. These are just panels that you can buy in any craft shop. I've, I know it's not perfect, but you've, I've ironed the corners over neatly. I've used a little bit of self-adhesive tape. It's like a double-sided violin. L'Oreal very kindly gave this to me. And you can cut it in the middle. You can cut it into two pieces. You can make it as thin as you like. And I've used that to try and hold the sides down when I have actually done these little squares because they are quite fiddly. And I've tried to get a really nice mitered corner. So while I'm at Sotoon on Sunday, one of my aims is to get these two beautiful calendars done so that I can give those to Sophie. And Sophie is Melanie's daughter. And she has two little children. She has Olivia and Remy. So there's one for Olivia and there's one for Remy. And these were something that I said last year that I would make for this year. So I want to get them done, but they fall into a gift for November. The other thing I want to make at Sotoon, time allowing, is, and this is what's great about a sewing social, if you get yourself prepped and you take everything ready, you've got no disruption, apart from the chattering of other people and you joining in the chat. There's two things I want to make, and they're both by Adam. So Adam, I'll put his link in the description box below for all of this, is, first is the Lunar Crossbody Bag. And I'm going to make that in Christmas fabric. She says, leaning across the table again. And I have, oops. I have my Christmas fabric here. Da -da, da -da. Two lots of Christmas fabric. And I will be using that Christmas fabric to back the advent calendars as well. And so that if you see them and they waft in the wind, they've got something Christmassy. So I thought I would make this. And then the other things, if I get the chance, is these. And these are the little trio of pouches that Adam has got. That was jolly unfortunate, wasn't it? I was recording away and suddenly my camera flashed up with a you've exhausted your memory. I think I have exhausted my memory with everything I've done this week because it's been such a lovely couple of weeks since I last did a Friday so. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen, do please click the subscribe button or if you're watching on a phone, just go up a slide and you'll see the subscribe button. I would love to have you join me on this journey. And for now, I shall say thank you. Do give me a like or a a comment and I will endeavour to get back to you as best as I can. So for now, have a lovely week yourselves and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye!